The gas pipeline from Nigeria to Europe is nearing completion. The critical part is to connect it to Ala Igbo, specifically Imo State, that has about the biggest gas deposits in the world. Buhari signed the gas away as collateral for loan and used the money partly to develop other parts of Nigeria and partly to fund Fulani herds to prepare them for full-scale invasion and take over of Nigeria, without investing any of the money in Igbo land where the gas is. To connect the pipeline to the primary source in Igbo land and continue to cheat them of their resource is not going to be easy. So the plan is to destabilize the region. It's been long in the making. This is an agreement with major Western powers. The first phase, flooding the region with killer herdsmen and killing young men of the region by mercenaries of one bloated militant, have had limited success. The second phase has just been tested, flooding the region with herdsmen in the guise and in the midst of IDP. Very soon, the Igbo will be painted in orchestrated write-ups all over the world as people unwelcoming to refugees and IDP. There will then be a massacre of IDP by the same planners, and it will be blamed on the Igbo, paving the way for full-scale military invasion. The refusal to release Mazi Namdi Kanu is part of it, and if he is released, he would be assassinated, either by the gun, to be blamed on rival pro-Biafran groups, or by the slow poison they have been administering on him. Both Britain and the US are part of this plan, and they are not ready to let up. It all boils down to the resource called gas. They must have it by all means, as an alternative to the Russian gas that has become a problem to them. They know that the Igbo are no pushover, hence the systematic weakening of Igbo cohesion and the grand plan. For such a plan to succeed, a high-level insider is needed. That is where a Southeast governor is playing his inglorious part. Hope Uzodima is judicially imposed on his state, and he knows that once his term finishes, he cannot step foot into his state, even into his village where he has massacred several people. This governor is the one facilitating everything. He paved the way for Buhari to start the plan, and he has continued with the present federal government. He will be rewarded with a relocation to the UK or to any other European city of his choice. And Bola Ahmed Tanubu. This is the most strategic politician to come out of Nigeria. He is positioning the Yoruba. Once the war starts in the southeast, the north will depend on him and his people for the continuation of any semblance of Nigeria. The north needs an outlet to the sea. They need Nigeria, in whatever form. Whether Nigeria survives in any form or not, the Yoruba would be strengthened by taking over the spaces both in the literal and other sense vacated by the Igbo. This is what the Yoruba did in the first war. Now the stakes are higher, the price is huger, and the eyes are more opened. Bola Ahmed Tinubu is using Mazi Namdi Kanu to play the political chess, and all these are related. Know this as a given. Thank you for watching. Please follow us for more updates.